Hi, my name is Frankie Snyder, and we're standing here in the City of David's sifting operation in Emek Tsarim National Park. My biggest achievement was reconstructing the designs of the floors from the Temple Mount from King Herod's period. I made Aliyah in 2007, and I came out to the Temple Mount Sifting Project, and I really liked what I saw, and I started volunteering here. When I was working out here, uh, there was a pile of rocks sitting out by, by the front door, and they were larger stone. We actually had to sit on the pile and sort rocks. Among them, we found all of these geometric tiles. There were triangles and squares. We were finding these different ones. Uh, I spoke with the archeologist who was on duty that day. Her name was uh, Tali Cohen. And I asked her if anybody was trying to analyze these and figure out what the original patterns were, what time period. And she said, no, right now we're collecting them, we're cataloging them. But, you know, if you're interested, give it a try. And I said, well, yeah, I have a degree in mathematics. I really like geometry. Let me give this a try. And so that's what launched my career here as the person who is running around the country analyzing opus Ectelli tiles. So I'm the go-to person. So whenever anybody in the country finds these kind of tiles, I'm the one who gets the call. I think the thing I enjoyed the most working here was the discovery in the moment. We're teachers for them and we're trying to explain to them about the history of Jerusalem, what we can learn from the archeology, span and we're asking them to participate with us in finding different kind of artifacts. So it's really great working with them and seeing their enthusiasm when they're finding things on the sifting tray and we can explain to them, oh, this is the tooth of a sheep or goat. This is part of what the, uh, the people ate 2,000 years ago, or this is part of a bowl or cup that they ate out of, that they drank out of, and that they cooked their food in. It's things that you can share with them that help to broaden their experience. This is not a site where tourists and visitors come just to look and to see and to listen to a speaker. They come here to actively engage in archeology span and to be able to explain to them right on the spot what they're finding and why it is important and why it's important that they came to help with the project, that is just so fulfilling for me, you know, but also for them. It makes um, a great memory for these people who come here. The main thing I will be taking back with me to this day are the memories. We cannot take the archeological artifacts with us, that's illegal, but just the memories of being here, the memories of working at a job that was not my career field to start off with, and being able to learn something new. When I go back, I'm still gonna be working with lots of sites around here, so I'll have all those memories. The City of David where it all began.